Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 102 of Building the Back to the Future DeLorean. This is a repeat episode, sort of. Um, it's new, but it's repeating stuff that we've done before. Um, we're going to be doing the wiring to the front. We did this one. We're doing this one this time. So, uh, yeah, the, the fake wiring being added to the front right <coughs> with the little plug and the wires and the things and then tying it off in place, uh, just like we did a few episodes back. So, uh, yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, ILM, obviously we know about ILM. Um, yeah, Industrial Light and Magic. They did a lot of the grunt work and the special effects, obviously. They probably did all of the special effects. But there we have it. Now, uh, this is in flight mode, obviously, with the wheels down, which this kit will do. There we go. That's that. Uh, Ten. This is the page. The dock's big amp. Dock has a big amp. You cannot lie. Yes. Got a big amp that uh, blew Marty off his feet, didn't it? Yeah. Cool. Interesting stuff. Next issue. Another repeat issue. We're doing the middle and the back uh, fake wiring. And again, tying it up in place and doing stuff like that. Uh, so uh, the cable and tube. Tubes. Everyone needs a tube. Uh, right. Let's clear this out of the way. We'll bring the car in and we'll get this done. We know what we're doing, so it won't take very long. So the parts supplied, same as last time, we've got the little wire for tying up and tying off uh, the plastic bit that's going to go across the wheel, uh, the bit that that fits into and the bit that that fits into as well. This is going to run parallel to that and be tied in place. With that, once I've got it in place, we've got some IP screws, one of which is obviously what we need to put that in place in a minute. So let me get that screw out of there. So we've got it good to go over there that I'll keep aside for later. I thought I'd put them all away. I missed that one. So there we go. That's that. Uh, let's bring in the car. Uh, I'm going to have to change the camera angle again so you can see what I'm doing on the car. I'm not sure how well it's going to work this time because obviously you need to look down here. I can only really look from this. You can see it from a different angle. We'll see what it looks like in just a minute. Let me move the camera around so you can see. So that's about as good as I can get. So uh, you can see what's happening. You saw it from the other side anyway, so you know what to expect. Uh, this will go into these holes like so. That's all that holds that in place. Like that. The bottom bit is not held in place by any holes or anything, but it will be inserted into that tube next time. So that should go there like so. Uh, this needs to go onto the top with that single screw. Uh, which way around does it go? That's the question. Let me check the instructions to make sure I'm doing things correctly. Uh, it goes in there with the screw that side. So that way around. Screw there. So we've got pin. In the middle, middle hole is the pin. Screw goes in the other side. A bit like that. So that tightens that into there. Doesn't matter that that's pinged off because I shall be inserting the end of it now into there anyway. That goes in there and then locates around all of those holes down there. Uh, then we need this one, which goes into, I better get a pair of tweezers for this, I think will be best. That will go into there, like so. And then that, as I say, is rooted up and around. It goes sort of, it doesn't follow that bit, it just goes more straight across there. This one goes underneath, I'm not sure where the other one went. But then again, that is tied in place by using a little bit of this in, I think, five different places again. Uh, let's do, just do one and then I'll do the rest and show you how it's going to look. There is plenty of this, so what I'm going to do is cut off chunk. We'll get that looped behind there, then across the front there, 
and that is twisted together. Uh, I might use a pair of wires to grab and twist that in place there, and then I'll cut off the excess. So I shall get all of that up located around, in and around, and then show you what it looks like when it's finished. So there we have it, all connected up, wired up, twisted round and tied away. The end just off camera down here is obviously still a bit loose, but we will know what we're going to be doing with that very soon. We're going to end up cutting off the excess bit and shoving that into a tube that we're going to make up. But for now, that will sit like that until I get the next, next uh, pack open and knock the camera a little bit less. So thank you for watching. Stay safe. I shall see you very soon for more of this the middle and back bit, which I'll be able to film a little bit easier because the camera reaches the back end better than it reaches the front end this way around. So, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.